Uh, praise the King, brothers and sisters. It has certainly been a while since I did a video like this. It certainly has been preaching a lot, I guess. Um, but yeah, in this video, I want to discuss Hebrews ten twenty six, and you know the the, the quote reads, or well, the verse reads, "For if we sin willfully, after that we have received." The knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. You hear that? So as read, you know what it means. You know, so after you receive, you know, the knowledge of the truth, and continue to willfully sin and go against the Lord, there's gonna there remaineth no more sacrifice, no more forgiveness. You can't expect to be forgiven if you keep doing the same sin over and over and over again. Keep getting drunk, you keep getting high, you keep fornicating, you keep stealing. You can't expect to be forgiven if you keep doing these things over and over again and you know these are wrong. You understand the truth, you know the truth, and you continue to do the same thing over again. You can't expect the Lord to forgive you. Nor if you like you know if nor think that your repentance is true. It's honestly fake if you keep doing it over again. That's not true repentance. Repentance means to turn from, means to turn away from your sins, to stop it. To do it no more. Like to change your mind, to change your heart. That's what repentance is. You know. So, brothers and sisters, you know, we gotta get oh deny ourselves. You know, we gotta pick up a cross daily and follow the Lord. As Jesus says in Luke 9 23. You know, and we gotta continue to gird ourselves, you know, wear the armor of God, as the states in Ephesians six, I believe. That you know, that you know, no temptations that may, you know, phase us. That you know, what the devil may give us these temptations, etc. Be no phase to us. Because we have the armor of God. We have His blood, you know, sealing us, sealing us from what He may give us. And you know, well, says we can't stop sinning. It's possible. You no, know, nowhere in the Bible says that you will always continue to sin. That you will always, you know, fall into sin. For the Bible says, for all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. That is past tense. You know, in the past, we all have. It's not saying that you always will. You know, Jesus said, says in uh, John chapter 8, to one who caught in adultery, go and sin no more. He doesn't say, it's okay, sweetie. You always continue to sin. You know, try your best. No, he gives a command to go and sin no more, to do it no more. So we can expect it to us too. We can stop sinning. You know, a drunkard can stop drinking. Look at that. He stopped that sin. Or someone can choose to not do it at all. You know, they don't do it. You know, it's a choice right there. It, sinning is a choice. It's your free will to choose either right from wrong, either, you know, following the way of the Lord or following the way of how Satan will want you to live your life. So you all walk in wisdom. You all walk in the spirit. Allow the Lord to lead and guide your life. You got to turn away from your sins. And then also says in one to continue on the you are able to stop sinning. In one John three nine, it says that he who's born of God cannot commit sin. So there in that verse, it proves and it states that he who's born of God cannot commit sin, that you can stop sinning, that you can turn away from your sins, that you can forsake your sins and do them no more. So you gotta trust in the Lord to lead and guide your life. You gotta trust in him, truly believe in him. Obey him. Keep his commandments if you truly love him. As he says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. It's not just his ten commandments. It's hundreds of commands. As you can read in the New Testament. So trust in the Lord, guys. Trust in his ways for your life. Walk in holiness. Walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. Submit not to the temptations of Satan. What Satan gives you. you know, a temptation. It's not a sin. It's a sin if you succumb to the temptation to allow it to rule, you know, lead what you do. That's the sin. So don't forget about the Lord, guys. Read your Bible. You know, stay on the hills. Keep your shield. Keep your sword on you, which is the Bible. Walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. Be a true Christian. Not a lukewarm. For if you're lukewarm, the Lord says that he will spew the eye of his mouth. So hate your sin and love the Lord for your heart, mind, soul, and strength.
the greatest commandment. And the second one is to love your neighbor. <laughs> but, uh, fellow brothers and sisters, uh, go out in the name of Jesus. Don't forget about the Lord and his ways for your life. Walk in holiness. You know, where will you be when you die, heaven or hell? Now, if you're a sinner, you got to repent and turn away from your sins. For the Lord didn't die on, on the cross for you that you may stay in sin, but that you may turn away from your sins and be able to go to the kingdom. So, repent. You know, Jesus says, repent, our Lord is perishing, Luke 13, 3. So, it's, you know, repent, you know, turn or burn. Get right with the Lord, read your Bible. You know, stop the sinning. That goes for me, too. I got to walk in holiness as well. So, and I could get, continue to deny myself, too. But, uh, praise the King. Walk in holiness. Go in the name of Jesus. Spread the word. Warn people. Don't, you know, stay on the sidelines. Don't just watch people stay in their sins. For that's not love. That's not really, it's hate. You know, warn them, guys. Show the love of Christ. Be the light in the world of darkness. Be not conformed to the world, nor of it. For a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Praise the King. I'm out. God bless. Love you guys.